the deeper and, and more protected the burrow, the better. They're nine feet below ground, they're not very vulnerable, except to environmental changes. When they come out during the spring, that's when they are vulnerable because they're very hungry and uh, predators are seeking them because they also are hungry from the winter. Now remember, these animals have been below ground all winter in darkness and they'll come up above ground and they'll get hit like I'm getting hit with sunlight and they're blinded for maybe half hour to an hour. I've seen coyotes just sit by a hole waiting knowing that a marmot's gonna come up, gonna be blinded by the light, and they nail it. It's really changes in weather patterns that affect marmot populations more dramatically than anything else. Marmots are having a harder and harder time finding cold spots. Marmots, and a lot of the mammals in particular uh, that hibernate, they want a nice, stable, constant, close to zero degrees hibernaculum. If they were hibernating here and all of a sudden we had a warm spell, as we sometimes do in Colorado, and it warms up, their burrow was shallow, then the ambient temperature in the burrow would come up, and so would their body temperature. And so they would start burning fat faster, and they may not have enough to get through to the rest of the spring. And if they don't, then that's where they die. If their burrow temperature is too shallow, and it gets very, very cold, and we don't have a good snow year, then the frost line goes down. When they are at the frost line or the frost line below, goes below the burrow, they can freeze to death. But if they don't get a good snowpack and it's very, very cold, and that can kill more marmots than anything else. Climate change is a very big issue for, for marmots. And in fact, they and pikers may become sentinel species that we need to monitor to see how is the high elevation climate changing and how rapidly is it changing.